Today, folks, when it comes to finding real opportunity, for those of you that are more risk adverse, willing to do the research and looking for that higher upside potential in the realm of small cap opportunities, it's very important to go against the grain. Everybody and their grandmother is going to be talking about something that's going to try and drive you into an overvalued investment. We've learned this over the last few years. If you learned anything from looking at the crypto markets, if you learned anything from looking at special purpose acquisition stocks, or heck, even right now, AI is probably becoming somewhat of a bubble. You do not want to be chasing companies that every social media influencer can't shut up about. And if there's one stock, one industry that I'm finding absolutely intriguing related to energy, the renewable resource sector, that has got to be a Duro Clean Technologies. This company in the near future, this isn't something we're going to have to wait a decade for. This is not some biotechnology company. This is a company that in the next three to five years is going to be in a profitable place. They've done all the hard work already. In the next two years, are going to be highly pivotal in their global global expansion to completely revolutionizing the way we think about the incentive behind, you know, getting rid of waste plastics. Because right now, out of the kindness of your heart, you got to go clean up the ocean, you got to clean up the ditches. But this company is going to change that into a realm of profitability. And literally everything from Procter & Gamble to these major companies that deal with basically plastics and packaging, they're already trying to figure this out on their own. And they do not have the same kind of technology. They do not have the patents around a company that can take those dirty waste plastics and upcycle them into fuels that are, again, add to this circular economy and you take a look at the stock in comparable to all of these small cap companies i mean it's kind of wild to think all these companies that came public in 2020 and 2021 are pretty much down in the dumps they're just starting to see some recovery if they're profitable if they're in the ai place like if they're in these really you know hyped sectors whereas this company is in its own league from an investment standpoint if you take a look it's actually above its ipo price and has just been relatively flatlining up till this point, and I think it's largely under-recognized at a $55 million market cap value when it's next, probably closest competitor being Pure Cycle Trades at a billion dollar valuation and can't even recycle the same amount of plastics that a Duro can. We've talked about this like a broken record. This is why they've been making even partnerships with massive oil companies because they can take heavier crude and basically upgrade it into lighter crude and shell oil giants and even governments are going to be intrigued by this company's technology. In my humble opinion, there is some speculative nature to this, right? But again, in the realm of speculation, this is a company that by 2025 plans to have its break even point with 2026 and 2027 being explosive growth years. That's a year and a half, two years out from now. And this company's done an incredible job at executing and they're looking to globalize. This isn't something that we're talking about. It's just going to be pivoted here in Canada where they currently have some of their pilot programs set up. This is a company right now that is getting a foothold and trying to make a representation in the global markets and we're going to be discussing this when it comes specifically to the European markets because there was some recent news that I'm just going to take you through as a Canadian technology company using the power of chemistry to transform lower value feedstock like waste plastics we're talking about polymers here heavy bitumen and renewable oils into renewable resources for the 21st century again all of this related to the circular economy is excited to announce the establishment of its European subsidiary Aduro Clean Technologies Europe based in uh, Galene Netherlands now for the formation uh, ACTE marks an important expansion of Aduro's international footprint demonstrating the company's dedication to its global growth strategy ACTE will serve as Aduro's European hub and uh, conduit for achieving strategic goals in the region the Netherlands was selected due to the company's robust uh, regional relationship including its successful partnership with the Brightlands Camelot campus we've discussed this Camelot innovative and learning labs which is related to is chill ACT will focus on advancing the hydrochemolytic program process for plastic recycling or basically upcycling which is the HPU within the European market with a primary goal of constructing a future demonstration unit at the Brightland site showcasing the company's a patented hydrochemolytic platform technology for tackling hard to cycle mixed plastics again I think they have the capability of recycling up to four plastics most companies can really only do one or two mainly those rejected from other processes such as a mechanical recycling because again dirty plastics the stuff in the ocean a lot of that is completely unrecyclable we all know uh, basically at this point when you throw recycling in the recycling bin 90 percent of that ends up at a landfill there's a lot of manipulation but I, again it's great that there's 10 percent of plastics actually are getting recycled and people are working on it but that 90 percent gap is just far too large and Aduro is going to dramatically help shrink that in a profitable way the company is engaging in the partnership discussions with local stakeholders on the project a europe-based subsidiary aligns with Aduro's strategic plan our business plan which outlines the expansion into key international markets in line with this vision 
decision, Aduro plans to progress on the following objectives. Once a preliminary data from the pilot scale, hydrochemolytic continuous flow plastic units are available and local team is on board. Now, right now we're talking about establishing the dynamic engagement with Europe based stakeholders to facilitate a robust partnership and stimulate customer engagement and propel corporate development, build consortium of local partners to support the build out of the regional demonstration unit and accelerate the commercialization, leverage local and European government grants. This is going to be a big deal. We're going to discuss this and what Europe kind of has as initiatives already in the plastic sector, uh, plastic sector to support uh, demonstrations and commercialization of our patented technology and form alliances with local service providers, including engineering companies, feedstock suppliers, and offtake vendors. Now, Aduro has already initiated the process of assembling the European team and is in advanced discussions to bring uh, aboard key personnel. The European team is expected to have significant impact on the implementation of the company's strategy in Europe and globally, aligning with its business plan of becoming a global leader in the sustainable transformation of waste, plastic, heavy bitumen, and renewable oils. We get a little quote here uh, from Ofer, the CEO. Establishing a European hub is a significant stride in our strategic journey. It will not only allow us to better engage and serve our stakeholders in the region, but also act as a catalyst for several strategic goals we have in Europe. We are enthusiastic about the promising outlook um, our new hub fosters, uh, emphasizing our dedication to advancing our technology, nurturing partnerships, and engaging with stakeholders across Europe. We are very grateful for the collaborative partnerships we've already formed in the Netherlands, such as the one we have with Brightlands, and we look forward to continuing to work together with our partners and to strengthen new regional partnerships in the advance in the circular economy and promote sustainable uh, practices. Practices. And finally, Brightland Camelot Campuses is proud to welcome Aduro Clean Technologies, a company that shares our vision for a sustainable future. Their innovative approach to transforming waste plastics into valuable resources is a testament to the power of chemistry and technology. We are excited to show how their presence will enrich our campus and contribute to the advancement of sustainable practices in Europe. And obviously, we've done some details on uh, Camelot campus in the past because they did announce kind of building this out. And this is going to be the next big step here. And I want to just point out the reason this is so pivotal is because Europe is a little bit more, um, I think, forward looking, uh, definitely when it comes to plastic recycling and kind of just being in the circular economy. We can see that if you go to environment.ec.europe.eu, uh, we can kind of get into the strategy and plastic strategy. And they kind of break down that the EU plastic strategies aim to transform the way plastic products are designed, produced, used, and recycled in the EU. Right now, plastics are an important material in our economy and daily lives. However, they have serious negative effects on the environment and human health. If you take a look at the objectives here, the plastic strategy aims to protect our environment, reduce marine litter. You notice how that's the first thing they talk about. If you go on a Duro Clean Technologies website, it's something they highly fixate on and greenhouse gas emissions and our dependence on the importance of fossil fuels. It will support more sustainable and safer consumption and production pattern for plastics. The plastic strategy also aims to transform the way plastic products are designed, produced, used, and recycled. You can't tell me that in this realm of, you know, where we live in Canada, where they're just constantly dealing with carbon taxes and trying to innovate, you know, the way we deal with carbon and carbon credit. I mean, this is a huge topic of choice for major industries, companies, and governments alike. And I think Aduro is going to be one of the forefronted companies that will soon be discussed, uh, you know, globally at, at some point in its history. Rounding that whole idea of finding companies that not only have a good story behind them, have real potential to change something in a way that has never been looked at um, really before. It's just something that society has basically just said, hey, that's the problem. It's always going to be that way. You know, some people are trying to clean it up, but it's it's always just a Band-Aid. It's never like an actual solution to the problem where I think Aduro can, can hit on so many solutions for so many industries that are just so carbon emitting, are so polluted to the environment that you can't help but recognize that if what they're saying is true, if what they're building out continues to to continue on its path here, which again, they've done an incredible job at executing and you know making timelines they've stuck to, again, there's going to be something that comes up in the future with this company. I can't help but not see it. So again, I'm not offering this as financial advice. Adoro is a company I've worked with on this channel. They do sponsor some of this content, but I do have ownership in the company. And this is, these are always just opinions of my own. As mentioned, when it comes to sponsorships on this channel, I do try and pick ones that do align um, you know, with my thought process. And uh, I, I think Adoro is going to be one of those uh, for the continued future. But I'll pass the question off to you. I'd love to know what you think in that comment section below.